I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open in front of you. And please stop and rewind the video as you need to. So, got your book open in front of you? Are your answers in capitals? Want to know why the answers are the answers? Then let's go. For question number one, we've got to choose an answer which collocates with the preposition which follows the gap, which is up. We've also got to choose the correct verb to form the phrasal verb, which means the same as establishing or creating a company. Well, if we have a look at that preposition, we can't use C because that doesn't collocate with up at all. If we have a look at D, bringing up, well, that means something completely different. If we have a look at A, well, that means completely the opposite of what we're actually trying to say. So the only answer that we can choose here is B, setting up. For question number two, if we have a look after the gap, we can identify the preposition to, which might help us a little bit in terms of working out which answers that we can choose, which answers we can't choose. But what really will help us is the context, and the context tells us that we're talking about a person who really wants to concentrate on one particular thing. If that's the case, the only answer that we can choose is A, uh, devote. For question three, the context is that we're looking for something which means the same as it was very difficult. Well, there's only one answer that, may, given the particular language structure that we've got in the sentence beforehand, there's only one answer that makes any sense here, and that's very hard work. For question number three, we have to choose an answer which basically means the same as it was very difficult. If we have a look at the options that we've got, we can't say D because it makes doesn't it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If we're talking about effort, something takes a lot of effort, and of course that language isn't pres uh, isn't present in the in the sentence. And if we're talking about job, then we need an article, the uh, a difficult job, and of course that language isn't present either. So the only option that we've got here is work. It was hard work. For question number four, two things to take into account. One, we've got to choose an answer which collocates with good before the gap. And secondly, we've got to look at the how people react to music. Well, people react to music by giving you good reviews. For question number five, what we're talking about here is money. Earning money through being good at what you're doing. And here, the only answer that we can choose that refers to making money is living. To make a good living out of, out of doing something. Question number six, remember the context. We've just learned in the paragraph before that he no longer performs, that he does something else. So we need to choose a verb which means the, sum, the same as no longer doing something. Of course, there's only one answer here, and that is to give something up. For question number seven, the key word is the preposition which follows the gap. That one preposition tells us that there can only be one possible answer. It's not A because you would have to introduce a structure of something like dedicating itself to something. B and C both need the preposition on. The only answer that collocates with the preposition in is specializing in something. For question number eight, the context is, is that this guy puts in a lot of work every single day. And if you do a lot of work every single day, like I have to do sometimes, then you work long hours. Remember that expression, it comes up from time to time in these exams.